The problem we'll be working on in this recording is the asteroid Vesta has an orbital period of 3.63 years. What is its average distance, that's the same as a semi-major axis, from the Sun? And we want our final units to be AU, or astronomical units. To solve this problem, we can use Kepler's third law. Kepler's third law is both simple and complicated at the same time. It's very short. P squared is equal to A cubed. So it's very short, but the thing that makes it difficult for some students is the exponents, the, uh, the squared and the cubed. You have to work with these, um, and not all students feel real comfortable doing that yet, but we'll practice a lot and you will be experts in no time. So first let's rearrange this equation in the way we want to use it. So let me rewrite it here. P squared equals A cubed. Alright, first of all, what do these stand for? P stands for period. Okay, and that is the thing that we were given in our problem here, the period 3.63 years. A stands for average distance. Average distance. And that's what we were asked to figure out. So for P, we're going to put in 3.63 years. And the units are fine. This uh, particular equation actually only works if the units on the period are years and the units on average distance are AU. So we don't have to do any unit conversion here. We just need to figure out what to do with this equation. So we know P and we're trying to figure out A. So we need to get A by itself. And it kind of looks like it's by itself, but it's cubed. We need to uncube it. And the way to do that is to take a cube root. I'm going to rewrite this again to get a little more room. A cube root is the same thing as raising something to the one-third power. So I'm going to take this whole side and raise it to the one-third power, and I need to do exactly the same thing here because you always do the same thing to both sides. Now when you're taking a power to a power, oops, underline that, to a power, what you're going to do is I'm going to multiply those together. Same thing over here. So P, 2 times 1 third is 2 thirds, is the exponent on P. And the exponent on A, 3 times 1 third is just 1 which we don't even need to write because a to the 1 power is just a. So we've done it. a now is truly by itself. And this formula is correct now that we need to take p to the 2 thirds power. And that will give us a. So we're going to take 3.62 to the 2 thirds power. There are a few different ways to do this on your calculator. A lot of calculators will let you take 3.6, oh, I wrote 2. It should be 3. I can fix that, no problem. Okay, as I was saying, a lot of calculators will let you take 3.63. And then it has a general exponent key. Sometimes it's written as y to the x or just, just a caret sign. If you're having trouble finding it on your calculator, calculator, let me know and I can help you. But you can type in 3.26 and then hit this general exponent key. And then in parentheses, you'll want to put in 2 divided by 3. Another way that you can do it is remember how we did this originally. You can take 3.63 and square it, 
and then raise it to the one-third power or after you've squared it you can do a cube root. Some calculators have a general root button where you hit the root button and then you would hit three to tell your calculator that it's a cubed root. Some calculators, they're really rare, actually have a cubed root button, but, but that's, that's really very rare. So there are a few ways to do this. If you're having trouble figuring out how to do it with your calculator, like I said, just let me know. Um, they're all different, so it can be really hard to find the right buttons to push. But for right now, uh, give it your best shot, and when you're ready to hear the answer, um, go ahead and hit play here. And I get 2.36 AU. So that's the average distance from the sun. Vesta is not specifically listed in your textbook, at least not that I know of off the top of my head. But we can check that this orbital distance is in the asteroid belt by making sure that it's between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Now, Mars is about 1.5 AU from the Sun. Jupiter is about 5 AU, so 2.36 is between them. So that's, that's pretty much the right part of the solar system. So we can have some confidence that this is the right answer.